You're watching this video because EasyCam's not saving your settings. So open your Windows Explorer. Then go to your hard drive. Next, go to the Windows directory. Here you're going to find the EasyCam.ini, your configurations file. Right mouse click, go to Properties, then Security, select your users, and make sure they have full control. If they do not, go to Edit, select your users, and put a check in the checkbox for full control. Now there's another option around the Windows security. Copy your EasyCam INI file and store it somewhere on your hard drive. I'm going to pick EasyCam's EasyCam W folder. Right mouse click and paste your INI file. Now we have to tell EasyCam to use it. So back in EasyCam, go to Help, Special INI Settings. Now change your directory. And select your EasyCam INI file. Now go ahead and test this to see if EasyCam is in fact saving your settings. If you're still having problems, there's another option. Go to your hard drive. Go to Users. Select your user. Make sure hidden folders are visible. You can do that by going to Organize, Folder and Search Options, View, and select the Show Hidden Files, Folders, and Drives. Next, go to the Hidden App Data folder. Go to Local. Come down to Virtual Store. Then your Windows directory. Paste your INI file here, overwriting the other one. Now you should be all set. Next, let's save our toolbars and layouts. Under the View men um, menu, you're going to find Customize. Once you've created the interface to your liking, go to Export. You're going to save a .reg, a registry file, somewhere on your hard drive. Now with EasyCam closed, you double click on that registry file. Then the next time you open EasyCam, all of your toolbars and layouts will be there. You can copy this registry file to another computer. And again, with EasyCam closed, double click on the registry file and open EasyCam and your toolbars and layouts will be there. If you have any questions, you can always contact us at EasyCam.com or call us at 508-347-3222. Thank you.